If you had the three timeouts, you would punt. I, I just, I can't help but wonder. No, we can't do it. You know, it was bullet team double, double, double wing. No, that, that's the common denominator. We always just kind of associated the two. Pass near sidelines, caught, and there's Blake with the football. He busts a tackle, and yes, folks, he is hard to bring down. <laughs> Every time he gets the ball, it takes three guys to get him down. I still don't think they got him down on this play. I think they had to run him out of bounds before they finally got him down. Here's one tackle. Here's two tackles. Here's three and four, and he has stepped out of bounds, and he's still not down. Oh, well, finally. Yeah, he was out of bounds. <laughs> he they was tired. <laughs> they didn't get him down in bounds. This young man is. Oh, he, I mean, he's got, you know, quick feet, but he's like. Can Ortega boot it home and tie this game up? Bobble snap, Blake's got it, and it's a throw to the end zone for a touchdown! Was that a design play? What a play. Was it a design play? Might have have been. I, that's, if, if that's, if that's just your standard, you know, bobbled snap and you yell fire and someone goes deep, well, that's as well as you can execute it. It was so good, it yeah. almost looks like it was by design. Yeah, it doesn't get any better like that. It, it, it looked like it was, that's why I said, was it by design? And Ortega hammers home the extra point. Here's another Boy. look at it. No, it was a bad snap, Kenny. I know it was a bad snap. But I'm just wondering the way it was played out uh, as if it well, was McJoy just, in the playbook. Well, McJoy shot out of the pile. You know, like he was running the 100 kick it's our review and you kick it to this young man and Kyrie Scholl just take it to the 37 yard line okay. and be that's yeah. right about yeah. where he gets it every time it's that great field position all night young man's a very good kick returner how did he stay in bounds I would say that's right into your lip our review trailing by four and the handoff, nothing cooking there. Nothing on the right, run to the left, looking up, keeping his eyes downfield the entire time. 145. Take way too yeah, now they call, they do call timeout, but what, about eight, nine seconds at least? Yeah. Best be calling that timeout. This a lot of time right, right, coming yeah. off the clock here. Yeah, this is it. You have to call timeout. You got two That ball plays. was out, by the way. I thought the ball was out. The ball was out. Offense that wants to throw it all no. the time. No. They stuck with their game plan. They, they, they. Third and 10, Lewis Beeler. Going to fire it over the middle, and he's got a man, and it's caught. And this is going to be a quick six. For Canyon Springs, Tejon Bullock calls it in and scoots the root, then gets a flag thrown at him for taunting, which may come back to haunt him in the final couple minutes of the first half. Yeah, sure could. A lot of time. Identifies the ball, goes up, snatches it, and then breaks a tackle. It's all man-to-man -man coverage, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, nice hands. If we see what happens at the end of the play here, Mark, um, and the flag flies immediately for taunting as he'll turn around and start jawing a little bit. And that was here. Taking it to 42. And Washington's coming back the other way. And he is hauled down at the 14 yard line. Man, at the end of this night, Canyon Springs could really sit there and go, What a touchdown. And you taunted. And all of a sudden, yeah. now Arbor View is sitting on your 15-yard line. Yeah, right. You're right back in the football game. You say it at all at all stages of the season, but clearly under center. They'll go hand up off the left side. 
and this is going to be a touchdown and Washington's going to put this in and these two teams are doing a lot of jawing out there but what an egregious Exactly. Just, just it, it's like ripping your heart out of your yeah, chest for no is. reason. Uh, you can see it. You can see it on the Canyon Springs sideline right now. All the players over there, uh, you know, they're kneeling now because one of their teammates is down. But you can just see it. It's a defeated group. They got the touchdown. You're right. They get all the momentum, and now to be able to do much in the first half, and then all of a sudden you get the big play, 60-yard touchdown. And you're back in the football game with all the momentum. Two minutes to go to the half. You want to pin them deep and shut them down. Three and out. Maybe get the ball back. Or take it. Well, no. The, the guy that was doing yeoman's work to start was uh, Kyrie Scholes on the kickoff returns. Right. Alston, 6'2", 210, senior defensive end. Oh, no. Oh. You're going nowhere. Boy, Alston showed his strength on that play. Open. They do it again if you have to. Oh, Beeler is under duress and takes shot and at the end of this shot play. At the end, yeah, but he made a great catch and a great run. One tackle, two tackle. <laughs> Lewis Beeler's going to fire it over the middle, and it's caught by Blake. How did they fit that in? Blake steps out of two tackles. He gets blasted from behind. But a big gain all the way down to the 22-yard line. What a catch by Blake. Oh, did he take a shot at the end of this play? Here's the, here's the end of this. And he spins out of one and steps out of another. And then, bam, gets blindsided. I can't believe he held on to the football. Yeah, no kidding, because he right. He did get blindsided. He had no idea this hit was coming. From his he, left side oh, on, man. on the football. And he had just switched hands to the left hand. Yeah. The ball was over there. That's remarkable he didn't fumble. A really good job on that last one, kicking the ball low. Let's see what he does with the wind of his back. Block. Block. And the Panthers have it right at the doorstep. How about this? Special teams coming up large, and it is Reyes. This cut. Yeah. As Tua Severa comes to his left side, now watch this. Vision. Boom! That is the cut right there that turned that run around. He was able to take it across the field, Steve, and yeah. into the end zone. One thing I always tell running back when I'm coaching him, and when you ever want Trey Davis, that's the guy I'm looking for. Rolls right, it's to Davis, and well, oh, brother. Big pop, and you know, Davis is like bootleg here for McNair. Flips one to the end zone, and what a catch! That was amazing. That was... <laughs> That is far and away my favorite moment as we are now ready to go here. And again, West Florida won the coin toss. They deferred, and we've got a uh -oh. big return here. Gets the kicker squared, and he that's how you start a half. I don't know that they're going to no get him. No flags. No flags. Got to get rid of it. He uh -oh. does, and it's yeah. intercepted. Please. This is Mikey Fisher. Uh -huh. it's Taking old. it back the other way. Is anybody going to catch him? One okay. to beat. Got a blocker ahead of him. Now he cuts across the field. Inside the 10-5, touchdown to Larry Western. Uh -huh. Second quarter, Brian Blessing, Kenny White taking it back to what went down the first half. Well, it was 10-3 yep. with about two and a half to go to halftime and didn't look like anything was going to happen. And we have, boom, bang, two quick touchdowns. Special teams played a big role. If Jones here is a good kicker. Mitchell's a terrific running back. This was early on. They've done a good job containing him. Yeah, they really have. Uh, Canyon's defense has been uh, well-schooled in the double wing. And this was the field goal that tied the game for Canyon Springs. Louis Ortega. And then the defense comes up big here for Arborview. And the offense finally produces a walk-in touchdown for Mitchell. But then... Canyon Springs got their act together offensively through the air, and they get the touchdown pass. But watch the end of the play. Bullock taunts the defenders, and a flag flies. Then there was a personal foul on the extra point, and that set up Arborview for the touchdown. And a great play by Blake gave Canyon Springs a chance before the half, 
but Arborview's defense stiffened. But literally, which it was a, such a 